Hello friends! In this video I will make a DIY version of this Lenovo SSD power cable from uh, recycled parts like this from an old power supply. Let's begin. First of all you can buy a cable like this. It's about $10. But uh, why buy when you can DIY in 5 minutes with uh, recycled parts like this. Here we have a Lenovo desktop. First of all let's power on and let's measure the voltages. These two connectors are the power supply for the SSD. First of all, let's take a ground from this and now let's measure every pin. I will begin down left. It's ground. Down right. It's 5 volts. Up right, it's 3.3 volts. And up left, that's 12 volts. First of all, let's make a schematic. Here I made the schematic. This is the notch. Ground 5 volts, 3.3 and 12 volts. Now let's analyze this aftermarket cable. As you can see, it's missing the 3.3 pin. It has only other version. Now let me tell you what parts are I will use. Instead of this connector, this one, it's a 12 volts power for a processor on any power supply and on this other end there are uh, SATA connectors from power supply. If you want a simple job you can uh, solder the wires from this connector to these wires from this schematic. But if you are a perfectionist like me, then you can take out all the wires and put uh, wires to the same color like this. You can use uh, connectors with orange wire 3.3 volts or without uh, orange wire. It's working anyway. Now I will link these wires. Ground, red for 5 volts, orange for 3.3 volts, and uh, yellow for 12 volts. Now let me tell you how to exchange these wires. I, uh, you can use a special tool or you can use uh, two needles. So you have to search the ears of the wires and insert the needles on the both sides of the ears, blocking ears. And after that, you pull the wire. You just pull the wire like this. 
and I will make the same for all the rest. I've put out all the wires and now I will put the wires back after new schematic. Ground. Five volts. Three point three volts. And twelve volts. Now let's cut all of them to the same length and now I just have to solder them color by color. Now this project is ready. I've soldered the wires and this is the final product. So I wrote here ground it's the black, five it's the red, Orange it's 3.3 and yellow it's 12 volts. And now let's make a test and see how it's working. Now this tester shows us that this adapter is perfect and it's working. As you can see we have 12 volts, 3.3 and 5 volts on this uh, SATA connector. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far, please, please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.